Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Rashid. I am a brother from the United States. I'm here in London for One Ummah TV. I just want to, inshallah, give my uh, story of how I came to Islam and maybe give some advice for people who are trying to find their way on, uh, along that path, inshallah. Uh, Bismillah. As we know now, my name is uh, Rashid. Um, I'm from Florida in the United States, the uh, Orlando area you know, outside Orlando. Uh, I'm 24 years old. I came to Islam in December of 2004, so I was 17 at the time, uh, alhamdulillah. Um, currently, I work as an optical lab technician, so alhamdulillah. Life before Islam. Um, well, generally, I was uh, basically like a, like a church kid. You know, I uh, was raised in the uh, Southern Baptist Church. I went, I went to church very frequently, uh, Bible studies and services and whatnot. Uh, so I knew my Bible. Um, I, you know, was very, I get not very knowledgeable, but knowledgeable enough, you know, for a kid of, you know, 13 to 17 is when I really got into it. Um, so yeah, life before Islam, I, church kid, you know, went to school, church, that was basically it, you know? Okay, before reverting, <clears throat> let's see, as I said, I was, a, I was a very, you know, strong, firm, firm believer in the uh, Trinitarian Christian faith, as I was a Southern Baptist, you know, feel free to go on and on your own time and look up what they, what they believe, but I was, I was very firm in this faith. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know much about Islam to have an opinion uh, and that was kind of uh, I guess self-imposed ignorance I guess you could say because because of how the media portrays uh, Islam and uh, so I didn't I didn't want to go there I was I was like I, I don't know like afraid of what I might learn you know and um <clears throat> Yeah, so, yeah, about Islam, that's, I didn't know much. I thought, you know, I thought whatever the news told me, you know, basically. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I didn't uh, know much about Islam, but I, I, had, I had actually done my fair share of homework on um, Buddhism, Hinduism, and that's just, you know, based on pure curiosity and and interest and in, I guess Eastern cultures you know uh, and having been brought up in the Christian faith going to Bible studies you get kind of a cursory uh, you get basic information about Judaism because the Old Testament is incorporated in, in, into the Bible so I guess I you know I knew a little bit about Judaism basic tenets of Hinduism and Buddhism um, Taoism, not much. Shinto, a little, because I, you know, the, the whole culture over there, I was, I had a big interest in, you know. Um, but yeah, so the major religions, I, I did, I did look into a, li a little bit, you know, in the basics at first. Okay, well, first, uh, I never w went on like. <laughs> A journey to find the truth because being raised in the church as firmly as I had been I'd always assumed that I was upon it already so what actually what actually happened was um, there was another revert brother that I went to school with uh, we were pretty good friends at the time anyway uh, but having been raised in this Christian environment and finding out that he had left the, the faith that I loved so much um, I was like personally offended that he chose to leave it, so I took it upon myself as kind of like a crusade to like bring him back to the church. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, witness to him and all this kind of kind of thing. But you know, w without knowing anything about his religion. But you know, I tried my best, and through that, um, well, I guess the way I went about it was wrong. Like I said, I didn't know anything about Islam, so. What I had to do <laughs> at first was finally research about Islam um, on my own and through asking him also <clears throat> because we would have various, you know, kind of debates on uh, doctrinal issues, whatever. So we'd 
uh, discuss and he would teach me this aspect of Islam and this aspect and I, uh, uh, you know, what do I say to that now? Because I didn't know that before and it makes sense to me, so what do I say, you know? That I had nothing to say. And so, as this went on, actually, <laughs> my mission to bring him out, out of Islam led me to Islam. Alhamdulillah. And uh, yeah, that's what, pro I, you know, I didn't go on a search for truth like, you know, mashallah, some people do. Like, they just find it within themselves that they want to go out and find the truth. I didn't, uh, <laughs> I guess, you know, Allah guided me in the way that he did. So, alhamdulillah. Well, got to be totally honest and say, like, it really hasn't changed that much because of how I was raised and, like, going to going to church a lot, you know, um, my lifestyle, per se, didn't really change that much. I just picked up a few extra prayers per day and um, stopped eating bacon, <laughs> really. Uh, no more pork. I didn't indulge in alcohol, you know, at that time anyway, so I didn't have to really leave it. Um, just had to stop eating pork and pray a few extra times a day. Your belief in did your belief in God change? My belief in God, my belief in God did not. Uh, I'll be honest, because the Trinitarian doctrine, right, that I'd always just, just, just accepted, because that's what we believed, right? I just accepted it. I didn't understand it. So you know, if you don't understand something, how can you really say that you believe it? So I never really, I can, I can say with confidence that I never really did believe in a in a triune God. I believed, you know, that there is God. But what did change was my belief in uh, Jesus, peace be upon him, and his uh, relationship to God, his relationship to us. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's, that's what really did change. Well, from the bottom of my heart, uh, I really have to just say, you know, just do it. Because uh, uh, it to to me, and you know, speaking from from reason, it is it is the only it is the only way of life that that people should should be following. It's the it's it's the complete way of life that you won't find in any other uh, religion, and it's the most uh, logical. I guess doctrine you can say that you won't find in any other religion. It makes it makes perfect sense, and the the way of life that is encouraged and commanded by God is is the perfect way of life. It really is. So my advice would be to just you know make make sure that that's that you know that's what you want for yourself, and just do it. You know, don't worry about. You know, don't worry. Just put your put your trust in God. You know, that's that's all I can say. Just do it and put your trust in God. If I have any questions? Well, um, you know, if you have any Muslim friends that you're already in contact with that may be teaching you about Islam or that you've come to with questions, you know, ask ask them, and um, don't be shy. Don't don't be shy to uh, ask them to bring you to you know the mosque that they go to to talk to uh, their uh, imam or some of the other knowledgeable uh, brothers in the congregation. Uh, so don't be shy to ask questions. Also, well, uh, I'll first want to say if you have just uh, decided to take on this path, then uh, con congratulations, and uh, you, all, you all have my prayers for uh, continued guidance and uh, success in this life and in, and in the next life, the, the, the real life. Um, advice would be uh, just, just be wary of where you get your information from. Don't, don't be hasty to join up with a sect, you know, don't, you know, all these slogans and everything, just, you know, learn, learn your information, go slow, you know, this is the beginning of the path, you know, you just started, it's, you know, you're not gonna, 
you know, <laughs> attain ultimate truth, you know, within a year or something. It's, you know, uh, just take your time. Always, uh, always make sure to purify your intention and make sure that it's, you know, you're, whatever you're doing is for the sake of, is uh, for the sake of Allah and uh, in His worship. And yeah, so, so brothers and sisters in Islam, and hopefully, inshallah, new brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, I hope that my words could benefit you in some way, inshallah, I hope, uh, and inspire you to embrace Islam or to progress on the path that you're on. Inshallah. Um, yeah, that's it. My name is Rashid. Keep me in your prayers. Inshallah. And Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.